Hello, this is Matthew Armstrong. And I'm Victoria Whitehead, and welcome to day 72 of our 100 Days Feast. Alright, so today I am drinking, first of all. I haven't showed the juice in it in a while. The juice this evening is celery, cucumber, carrots, yellow bell pepper, tomatoes, and bok choy and flat leaf parsley so there's quite a mixture in there it's really really good uh, really alkalizing tasty as well that's what I'm just, what are you juicing? What are you drinking? Um, pretty similar to what I had yesterday with the pineapple the apple and the um, passion fruit with some lemon and lime and I also put in some courgette in there as well because the courgette takes away the sweetness and makes it go further so yeah and if you give that to any child, they'll love you forever. It's just, it's just amazing. <laughs> so, it's uh, feeling quite <sighs> tired now. It's, uh, it's e evening time. Been working hard all day, um, doing projects, completing projects that I've been procrastinating on. Um, so it's been a lot of mental effort and getting through emo emotional blocks as well. I, I set a goal yesterday evening because I had these different projects that I'd been procrastinating on and I just hadn't been doing them and I know if I just really applied myself I could just blast through them um, in maybe a week or something um, but I needed to give myself a kick up the ass so I, I said to myself last night I said okay I wrote down the projects that I need to do that I really want to get done but I've been procrastinating on for you know we procrastinate for various reasons um, and what I said was, okay, if I haven't got these done a week from today, I'm going to shave my head. And I really don't want to shave my head because actually my hair has grown back re really thick lately. And I'm, I'm really liking the new thick hair that I've grown from doing the Juice Feast, actually. Um, because my, my hair went uh, I, from being out in Africa and taking a lot of really strong malaria tablets um, really, really bad side effects. Um, my a lot of my hair came out from the top. I went very thin on top from it, from the medication, and uh, and so it's been taking a lot to regenerate that. And this juice piece has actually really, really helped to re regenerate and uh, regrow my hair. And it's just amazing. I'm just feeling this like big, thick, bushy head of like when I had like when I was a kid. Um, so so I set this goal. <laughs> That, uh, and I really don't want to shave my head, I really don't want to do that. Um, but I will. I will because I'm being strict on myself now because you know there's these things that I that I really should have should have done or I really want to get done but I haven't been doing them. So you're not gonna shave your head because you're gonna get the things done. Yeah. Yeah. But if I don't get them done, I'm telling myself this, having this like really strong conversation with myself, if I don't get them done, I'm gonna shave my head. Um, but amazingly, the, today was amazing because I got suddenly I got this clarity. Suddenly I had this. Um, I, get, I really gave myself this kick up the ass, and I, I sat down today and I completed one project that had been kind of like over me for ages, which was a, a feature-length screenplay that I've been writing, and I completed that today, a one-hour, forty-minute screenplay for film that I've been writing, and completed that today, amazing, it just feels amazing to do it and then some other things that I, I started working on those and making progress through those projects as well so uh, that's one reason why I'm kind of a little bit mentally uh, drained right now from, uh, from doing all that today so there's a lot more to do in this next week, I've set myself some pretty high targets um, so I'm just going to focus really hard and get them done and uh, being on the juice piece is really helping uh, that as well <clears throat> You also shared something with me yesterday about um, you were going to stop taking the avocados. Mm. Just yeah. Share that with everyone. Yeah, I uh, um, because from day fifty, um, if you hadn't watched all the videos from day fifty, I went off all the sweet fruit, and instead added in avocados. So I blended up an avocado with my juice. Uh, when I made my juice, then I put an avocado in. Um, and so what I've decided to do we're into the final stretch of the final four weeks of the juice feast is I'm cutting out the avocados now stopping taking them, we've got a few left in the bowl 
Um, so as soon as those are finished, um, so probably from about day 25 or so, uh, not day 25, day 70, 75. 75 onwards, I'm going to cut the avocados out, also not having the sweet fruit, just to go on a really, really, and just pretty much all green alkalizing juices, um, to go on a really, really deep uh, cleanse for those final few weeks. So I'll probably be losing some more weight uh, for, for doing that. And a realization that I had was, again, you start to see different parts of yourself. You see yourself from different angles, hidden parts, parts of yourself that you didn't know about. And I, I saw a part of myself where um, I was attached to uh, being a certain size or being a certain weight, something that came from childhood. It's an insecurity, obviously, that, that, that I had. And, uh, you know, it's, it's improved over the years. I remember as a teenager, you know, I used to work out in the gym all the time to get big. And, uh, and, and I was quite big, a lot, you know, a lot bigger than I am now, actually, when I was a teenager. Um, you know, quite muscular and everything, but I was still insecure about it. And I, I used to wear maybe four t-shirts underneath a sweatshirt to make myself look bigger. And looking back at that now, it's just so ridiculous. Um, but, but realizing that I, I still had a little bit of that attachment. And, uh, and now I've just really surrendered to that and released that. And uh, so really it doesn't matter, I don't really care what weight I go to, I know it's, I'm going to be healthy no matter what, I could you know, easily drop another 10 kilos and still be healthy, um, you know, because I still have quite a bit of muscle mass on me, um, you know, that wouldn't be a problem. So I'm really just, I'm surrendering to the process now and just drinking the, the, the pure juice without the sweet fruit, so it's going to be a pretty intense uh, final few weeks, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to it just... Uh, you know, go to the deeper levels. Yeah. Good. Mm. Yoga posture? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm not going to do anything crazy tonight because I'm, like I said, I'm a little bit bushed. Um, but here's just a very simple one. Take your thumb and your index finger and just place it together. If you sense it, so you tune into it, you'll feel uh, an electrical charge moving around. And this is very, it's very balancing, it's very centering just to do this. And you can do it with both hands. And just by doing that, you'll start to balance and center yourself. Um, sometimes I do this, I like to sometimes walk on um, fence, fence poles jump up on the fence and walk along and balance on it to improve my balance. And if I find I'm losing my balance, I then press the two, th thumb and forefinger together and it actually balances me there and I get my balance back again. So do that anytime. Do it when you're walking along. Do it when you're feeling a slightly off balance, emotionally or any other way. And uh, just do that and you'll find it will balance you. Um, just do it any time. These, these are great little yoga mudras, hand, hand mudras that you can do any time that uh, actually bring you a lot of benefit. Okay. Is that us? Yeah, that's us. Okay. Thanks very much for joining us again today and we look forward to sharing with you again tomorrow. My name is Victoria Whitehead. And my name is Matthew Armstrong. Take care. Bye.